All right, so in this video, uh, what I want to show you is what the panel cam uh, does to your actual data on the SD card So and what it looks like. So if you go into your SD card over here and you go into your scans, this was a formatted SD card before, so I mean, this is really the only scan that I had in there. Uh, if you double click it, you can tell that there's images that are uh, captured by the panoramic camera over here in the folder called panel cam you can see that there's actually a couple of pictures here that are jpeg so if you double click and you'll see them so i mean that's me sitting in the corner and that's a full 360 of our training room where i'm making this video and then because i took two pictures there's two of them i'm assuming the dgn dngs over here are uh, the raw data sets but that's how you can tell that there's uh, panoramic imagery on the actual um, SD card in the scan. Uh, why I mentioned this is it's not as easy to spot that the data was captured with a panoramic camera as it is when you're using the regular internal camera. So if I create a new project and call it panel cam, uh, it's asking for automatic transfer. I usually say no because I want to be in control of my data. So I'll go import and this is really simple because obviously I'll just bring in one scan. Uh, here we go. Scans. This guy. Transferred over. So you can't tell. Uh, historically, uh, if you had pictures, you'll see that there will be a little plus sign. When I hit the save button over here, I'll say imported scan. It'll just save the scan and really not, will not show you much more. So if you go into the properties over here and hit properties and you look at scan area and color, it'll look like there was no color captured. So this is, I'm sure that this is something that in the later releases, I'm running scene 2021.2, which is the most current version um, today, which is August 23rd, 2021. But you can't really tell that uh, panoramic imagery was recorded unless you look in the actual file structure here so I'll open this and then we will do one more and we will open the actual computer here we go C drive uh, pano cam so if you look in the revisions just for fun just to see so on the SD card we have a scans folder and we said it's in the pano cam folder so this is the sd card over here and in the river in the revisions because we save data it's oddly enough in the mobile scanning section uh take it back uh, miscellaneous that's what i wanted to uh, show but in here you see that this dng file is essentially over here renamed proprietary at this point but you can tell by the sizes of the files that this is where the actual pictures are so that guy's that guy uh, what these are the previews this is that jpeg image which is uh, must be this guy over here so you know it actually resides on the c drive already so uh, what you do now is if you process this scan and you enable color and i'm not setting any of the other settings we'll run through this and what the program will do it will utilize that uh, panoramic image um, to colorize the point cloud and the results are going to be shown once we do this so again there's no little plus sign next to the scans as what you're used to or at least i'm used to seeing which tells me i recorded scans with pictures or i recorded scans without pictures that usually historically was how you could very quickly tell if uh, there was imagery associated with a uh, scan now you have to either know that you did it or uh, uh, look in the file structure all right it looks like it's finished uh, there we go we'll hit okay if i go into explore i guess i could view project but you see that we have color we see the huh, images through our actual glass doors over here so that's what was captured and 
what the actual image looks like blend it together because it consists of two uh, I was sitting in the back here and you can see that my face is uh, distorted just because of the fact that I was in two separate positions as I scanned um, parallax you can tell that your actual table is here the colors a little bit more distorted by seeing that there was no color there but the further you go the uh, you know less profound that parallax will be so you see that the table over here is uh, again it, it, these are really quick uh, images taken with a uh, camera that is not mounted uh, directly in line with a scanner so this is or the where the mirror is so parallax is expected but uh, for these being images that are taken in what 15 20 seconds compared to a minute and a half two uh, this is pretty pretty impressive um, let me do this let me view this we already have it in 3d but in case oh there we go so the images themselves get applied and everything looks pretty okay uh, and that's it I mean essentially you'll, you you are not going to be given m too many options over here with the images but uh, once you process with the pictures being checked on colorizing or even illuminated uh, HDR will work it just applies that information and shows you the data in 3d with the color that was captured from the panoramic camera um that's it there's nothing else to this uh, once again you will not see any other properties in here which would indicate that you did it with a panoramic uh, camera attached um, hoping that this changes in the future but currently there is nothing but needless to say the scan took two minutes and t historically this would have taken four minutes to actually finish if you were doing traditional camera and mm, uh, preloaded scan profile hopefully this was a helpful series of videos and if you have any questions or comments leave them below